Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 571. This will be a random trivia pub quiz. This is the ninth one of these we've done. They're pretty popular. Categories all over the place. There's some easy questions. There's some hard questions. Pop culture, geography, it's got it all in there. 20 questions with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end. Thank you for watching. And good luck! Question number one. What is the name of the strait between the Pacific and Arctic Oceans separating the Chukchi Peninsula of Russia from the Seward Peninsula of Alaska? The answer is the Bering Strait. Question 2. What was the title city of Scott McKenzie's 1967 hippie anthem subtitled Be Sure to Wear Some Flowers in Your Hair that was a good pop summary of the Summer of Love? If you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wear some flowers in your hair. Question 3. The Ganges, the Padma, the Irati, the Godavari, the Mahandi, the Brahmani, the Batarayani, the Krishna, and the Kaviari are just some of the rivers that flow into what large bay? The answer is the Bay of Bengal. Question 4. In Bobby Gentry's 1967 hit song, Ode to Billy Joe, the fictional Billy Joe McAllister jumped off what bridge in Mississippi that spans a river with the same name? That song is about the day Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Question 5. What's the name of the one-eyed character played by John Wayne in the 1969 original and by Jeff Bridges in the 2010 remake of the western movie True Grit? Both of those men play Rooster Cogburn. Question 6. What is the name of the popular region in the country of France between the Seine and Marne Valleys that lends its name to a variety of soft white cheese? The answer is Brie. Question number seven. The Common Sense Book of Baby and Child Care is a book by what American pediatrician and one of the best-selling books ever, selling 50 million copies by the time of his death in 1998? His name is Dr. Benjamin Spock. Question 8. What is the name of the muscular tube that is about 8 inches long and carries food from throat to stomach that is the narrowest part of the human digestive tract? That tube is known as the esophagus. Question 9. Now containing more than 700 rooms, with over 70 of those being bathrooms, what is the current name of the palace that faces St. James Park and was built for John Sheffield in 1703? It is now called Buckingham Palace. Question number 10. In the 1941 American drama film produced and directed by Orson Welles, 
What was the final dying word uttered by Charles Foster Kane in Citizen Kane? The last word he says is rosebud. Question 11. In the U.S. version of the television sitcom The Office, what is the primary crop grown at the family farm of Dunder Mifflin's top salesman, Dwight Schrute? The answer is beets. Question 12. What is the nine-letter word that can mean either to form a theory or conjecture about a subject without firm evidence or invest with the expectation of profit? The answer is speculate or speculation. Question 13. What author spent five years as a slave in North Africa after he was captured by Barbary pirates before he began work on the first modern Spanish novel? The answer is Cervantes, Miguel de Cervantes. Question 14. Copenhagen was the name of the horse that carried what British leader to victory against the Napoleonic forces in 1815 at the Battle of Waterloo? The answer is the Duke of Wellington. Question 15. Well, Nobody's Perfect is the final line and punchline from what classic 1959 American romantic comedy film directed, produced, and co-written by Billy Wilder and starring Marilyn Monroe? The answer is Some Like It Hot. Question 16. The history and decline and fall of the Roman Empire starts by covering the history of Europe from the 2nd century AD and ends in 1453 with the fall of what city? Fourteen fifty three was the fall of Constantinople. Question seventeen. An important religion in most of the countries of Asia, Buddhism was founded in the late sixth century BCE in northeastern India by what man? The answer is Prince Siddhartha, or Siddhartha Gautama. Question 18. What is the name of the city-state surrounded by Rome, Italy, that is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church and the home to the Pope and a trove of iconic art and architecture? The answer is Vatican City. Question 19. What is the term for the type of person or creature who practices the dark art of communicating with the dead, especially in order to predict the future? The answer is a necromancer. And question 20. Three of Jim Carrey's biggest blockbusters, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and Ace Ventura Pet Detective, were all released in the same year. What year was it?
What a good year for movies. 1994. I used to have all of those VHS tapes. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. When you're watching this, it will be day three of my camping trip. One, two, three, yep. We'll be making camp right about now, about six o'clock. Scotland time. I think by this point, I'll be really jonesing and headaching and wishing that I had brought more Mountain Dew. Because I don't, I don't go very long without Mountain Dew and going on a five-day camping trip up in the mountains. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back, but if I do, I'm gonna get a two liter of Mountain Dew and I'm gonna chug it with a frozen pizza. Anyways, question 21 tonight, the tiebreaker. With 38 chapters and over 700 pages, what was the longest of J.K. Rowling's books in the Harry Potter series? It was book number five. The title was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Thank you for watching today. Check back tomorrow. Hope you're having a great weekend. See you then.